Hi friends, Zoe here coming at you from my balcony today and as you can see it's a beautiful fall day in Toronto and I'm off to explore a little Italy so I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me so let's go! If you crash a car into your best friend's house Would you be quiet at? What came out of their mouth? Stop! because I loved Italy when I visited. I was in Rome. I spent probably all in all about two weeks in Rome and I loved the city. It is fantastic. It's like you're walking through a museum. It's The architecture is beautiful. There's history like all around you. It's great and I'm dying to go back. I can't wait to go back. Uh, probably my favorite thing about Rome was obviously the Colosseum, all that, but the Trevi Fountain or Fontana di Trevi. I have always been in love with the Lizzie McGuire movie. It is one of my favorite movies for sure. And ever since I saw that movie, they've been like, I'm going to the Trevi Fountain, I'm gonna to toss the to coin in, and I'm gonna make a wish. And I'll let you guys know, both my wishes came true at the Trevi Fountain. And <laughs> I'm obviously not gonna tell you what they were, but I have yet to go back. And apparently when you first toss a coin in, a girl uh, I met in Germany in Rome who was with me there, she told me that once you toss a coin in, it means that you will return one day. And I ended up returning like a week or two later anyways. But yeah, so my wishes came true and I highly recommend visiting there. 
when I returned from my Euro trip, I was obviously super high on life for a couple months, like having enjoying the rest of my summer, like with my friends and working and getting ready for the final uh, year at BIU. And what I really, really wanted to do after summer was over was go on another adventure. I was dying for another adventure. That's kind of like sort of what brought me to Toronto anyways, but I was set on going back to Italy and actually living in Rome. I I read Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert, and I was like, I'm doing that. No problem, I'm doing that. So I went out to Chapters, and I bought a bunch of like um, Italian for Dummies books like that. I downloaded a bunch of apps, and I self-taught myself basic Italian. I started calling my dad Padre. I still call my dad Padre, and <laughs> and I would I would tell them that I was moving here. And I remember my dad, if I was like, so you can't, you have to finish school. Like you can't, you can't move to Rome. Like. He sort of like simmered down my dreams and I realized, you know what, I have to figure out another place to go where I can continue my schooling and I can also have kind of a cultural adventure. So that's what Toronto was for me and still is for me. It's still an adventure. It's still fun. There's tons of neighborhoods around here and they're always super fun to explore. So I don't know. I hope you guys have really liked following me around Little Italy because there's going to be a few more videos like this following me around the different neighborhoods. So you can take a look and see what it's like because it's too much fun I have to share.